Beardos, beardos, boils and ghouls, how are we all doing? Now, the thumbnail has given a little clue as to what's going on. We've got some truths that are going to smack some people like proper... Down, boy! Sorry. Case number one. Recently, I did a twin paranormal video. And in that twin paranormal video, I said, Hey, what's that picture? I can't see anything. Where's the big, sharp, pointy teeth? And my viewers said, Hey, that's not even from that house. Excuse me? Lots of people saying that's not from that house. Mr. Gray debunked this years ago. It was caught at a hospital. It was apparently a demon caught on a CCTV monitor. Ooh. And, uh, yep, you're all absolutely 100% correct. Right. Demon caught on monitor. And this was years ago. It's all over the internet. This photo shows an apparent demonic figure standing over a patient lying in a hospital bed. Look, there's the machine. I don't know how I missed this. That's your blood pressure monitor and your heart rate and all that cack. Twin Paranormal inserted this photograph into their video as if to say this is the demon of the big sharp pointy teeth like this from that house. Absolute bull poop. Or as Mr. Grey would say, absolute bollocks. You've been had again... Twin Paranormal, your B-roll and the, these inserted photographs, it all just adds up to this narrative of you telling little porky pies. And if rumours are to be heard, your last video has got more of the same. More photographs you've just ripped off the internet and posted for all to see, like, hey, look, there's a photo of the demon in this house, and it's not. Stop it. Number two, Cody and Satori. Don't worry, I'm not showing any footage of the tap, 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 tap in. None of that crap. It pains me to do this. It absolutely pains me to do this because I hate feet. Everyone knows I have a foot phobia. I dislike flip-flops. They should be made illegal. People that wear croc. But we all remember the argument from Cody and Satori. We, we you know, the demon, the, the, the spirits may not allow it. I don't know. I don't want my feet on display for all of the internet to see. Fair comment. There are some really weird people out there. And some really weird people will say things like, I don't want my feet on the internet for all to see. And their Instagram has photos of their feet for all to see. I hate feet. <laughs> and you people need to be careful if you're going to pull up, come up with a bullshit story. At least clear up your past on the internet. Also, in with saying that, could everybody please stop emailing me photos of people's feet? I must have had 16 emails showing me Satori's feet. <laughs> Not hers in particular. I just hate feet. Stop it. On to the next thing at hand. Number three. I want to address that channel directly. Why don't you turn your whole channel into about me? Every, you should, every time I make a video, you should make a video. You should do that. You should. I mean, hell, why not, right? I bet you'd like me to sh talk shit about every video you make because it's the only time any fucker watches you. Morons. <laughs> what I really think is funny is people like to talk shit behind that keyboard. Really? My keyboard is now to the side of me. And you still suck. Knowing good goddamn well that if we were face to face, you wouldn't say anything. Because you're a little bitch. And I'm not. I'll slap the shit out of you and take the fucking charge. <laughs> <I'm> a... <laughs> we little bitches. Uh, I'm a little bitch. Listen, are you? I never want to feature you again. You truly fucking suck. You, you're absolutely awful. You can't debunk for shit. You can't investigate for shit. And I'll guarantee you, you couldn't slap for shit. May I suggest, if we ever do bump into each other, and I do say something to your face, because I am not scared of you in the slightest, if you're going to hit me, hit me with all that loose skin under your arm, because that's the manliest part of you. Now who's a bitch? I do apologise. I do, don't normally get personal with people, but this guy is vile. Because I've called him out on picking on women, now he's acting like a big tough guy. <laughs> uh, I'm not even going to put him in the title or the thumbnail because he is not worth the time. But I thought that was pretty funny. And on to part number four. And I will not be naming this channel because... Ooh, they're trying to invoke the drama too. In fact, one of them called me a twat in the comment section. Ooh, 
What's ruffled your feathers? Is it because I called you bullshit experiment with, that makes you hallucinate as, out as bullshit? Is it because the majority of your channel left after you ranted about the bunkers, which is predominantly why most of your audience watch you? Is it because you called us toxic, even though you keep releasing toxic videos from sat in your vehicle? Is it because you are now facing claims of bullying from people that you've outed from your community? And the thing is, without me saying your name, the second you react to this, you've just pleaded guilty to everything I've just said. What a guy. I have played nice for far too long. You know, it's all like, oh, it's toxic this, it's toxic that, it's toxic the other. Beardo's toxic, Beardo's nasty, Beardo's a bully, and then I stay away from it all, and then everyone suddenly gets really, really brave. I'm just going to keep firing back. When people are talking crap about me, I'm just going to fire back. And it'll be with humour and comedy and all the rest of it. Because everyone seems to think they can just do whatever they like and it'll go unanswered because Beardo's gone soft. This thing on. You at the back. I'm not gone soft. There's a difference between being polite, trying not to be what people call me. But, you know, when people keep acting the way they try to portray me to be, I'm going to fire back. You deserved it. There are way too many people over the age of 40 running around behaving like 12-year-old children that have had their feelings hurt. In fact, I've got a 10-year-old nephew that takes criticism better than any of you people. It is embarrassing. It is ridiculous. I mean, Beardo said our experiment doesn't work. Beardo said you can't call people toxic whilst being toxic. Oh, he's a bully. Oh, he's a twat. Oh, he's... Insert whatever makes you feel better here. Only problem is, I don't give a shit. A lot of you people, your mouths are moving, noise is coming out, but you've got nothing to say. And these people are only trying to stir crap up with me because nobody watches them. The guy that called me a twat. 12 people saw that. Well done. You're hard. And finally, the last bit. A very new channel. I mean, it's so new, they don't even have a video. <laughs> is going to be doing a debunking video on me. His channel, that I will not be naming, because I don't want people to even look at him before he gets started, is going to be debunking the debunkers. Woo! And he's been commenting in my comment section, and he's called me and Ghosts on Trent fake. And he said that he is going to show a video how we overlaid the hello and the walk-in sounds at the Jumanji house. Go and do it. Go and do it. Because then what I'll do is I will upload the raw footage. Ghost on Trent will upload the raw footage. You'll see how many sound bars are present. They'll all be labelled. Mark microphone, Paul microphone, Beardo microphone, main camera microphone. There will be no added shit apart from the cinematic and the B-roll where we overly noises over them and a little bit of music at the beginning. So feel free because the comments you have been making, I kind of recognise. And you had a channel before, didn't you? And you called me out on your channel before, didn't you? And that channel hasn't posted a video since. You called my investigation techniques crap. You used the Necrophonic app to uh, legitimize your own investigations. You thought Twin Paranormal were legitimate. I can tell by the way you write things. Have at it, because I'll make your new channel look just as stupid as your last one that you've stopped uploading to. So, to end on some positivity, the Ouija Brothers are nearly at 100,000 subscribers. These guys, very good friends of mine in real life. Well, me and Steve are very good friends. Me and Griff, we hate each other. Honestly, a lot of people think me and Griff hate each other. And we do. That's why we spend Sunday afternoons gaming with each other on occasion. Even when Steve's not there. Because we hate each other. Griff, you're a smelly poopoo -poo head. If any of you are not subscribed, please consider going and subscribing to the Ouija Brothers because I'm aware of a conversation where the Ouija Brothers were told by a much larger channel that they would never, ever amount to anything. And it's the same channel that told me I would never break a thousand subscribers. I would never become... I would never become significant on YouTube. I've become significant. The Ouija Brothers are about to hit break 100,000. And I've proposed so to try and help. I've seen so many channels propose so to try and help. Casper site has helped them. And I've had a few people like, Ooh, Ouija Brothers sold out. Sold out by being put on Casper site. No, they didn't. Somebody else asked them to feature a specific episode because it was freaky. Casper site went, Ooh, freaky deaky. Asked the Ouija Brothers if they got anything else that's freaky deaky. And the Weeds Brothers said, yeah, check out the I Love You episode. We still don't know what it is. Casper Sight is one of my favourite episodes he's ever put out because he sat there and he's going, ooh, mate, 
Oh, mate. Freaky deaky, mate. Oh, my God. Running across his room. And then he does the following. Could that be? And then comes up with reasons. And I'm like, hey, Casper's like critical thinking. And then he's like, but these guys are legit. There's no messing about. It is a good thing that Casper site is on board with the Ouija Brothers' real content because that could then potentially drip feed down through the other real paranormal investigation investigators. It could bleed into Ghosts on Trent, I Conjure, Dead Cold, Exploring the Entity, Staffordshire Paranormal, Connecting to Afterlife, Adelaide Haunted Horizons, Amy's Crypt, Paranormal Quest, Three Spires, Paranormal by the Sea. Although they should change the name to paranormal by the cop shop all of those channels that i've just shouted out go and check them out they are all really good in oh and real evidence sorry boys just been editing a video i've done with you guys go and check all of those channels out they're all worthy of your time they all deserve your time and then there's the debunking channels that you need to go and check out go and check out purple go and check out mr Gree. go and check out mythos go and check out mythos go and check out the side eye guy wacka wacky when he comes back paranormal seekers the shape Crow of Judas, Joe Vitale. Joe Vitale sits in two camps like I do. He investigates and he does debunking. If I've missed anyone off there, like I conjure. I don't think I said I conjure. There you go. Go check them out too. If I've missed anyone out off that list, it's not because I'm being horrible. It's because I've just reeled them off without any notes or anything like that. If you guys will remember, when I started this channel a year and a half ago, I used to shout out videos and those shout out videos would consist of... Four debunking channels. One of them is no longer around. The Ouija Brothers. Ghosts on Trent. I think I was already into Iconja by then. That was it. That's all I was happy with. That's all I can say. Yep. I like these channels. I like these guys. I like this content. Now look at what I've just reeled off. This community is growing. This community is becoming a bit of a movement. And this community is making a difference. It is making a difference to people's personal lives because we get emails all the time. It's making a difference to the fake teams because suddenly the bunking community is a little bit of a threat because not only are we pulling the videos apart and saying that's fake and this is how it's fake, we're also shouting out guys that go out week after week after week after week. I don't really catch anything. And then people are going to go, hmm, how come the Crayola kids get a demon every week but the Ouija brothers have had like three notable th notable things in a year people are waking up to the bullshit people are waking up to the real paranormal and that is a great thing and the reason i want to put that positive thing on the end the reason i want to do that is it ain't all doom and gloom it hasn't been all doom and gloom for ages people keep concentrating on negative comments and horrible stuff and i i'm guilty of it i've just done half a video based on it but this is a fantastic, growing, thriving community. It's amazing. The Ouija Brothers are doing premieres and the numbers they get. I just did a premiere of a debunking video of sorts. Um, I stopped doing debunking premieres ages ago because I'm like, I'll just do the investigations. There's more work in that. I did one just because I was really pissed off. And 1,200 people were in that premiere. That is absolutely insane. That is crazy. I love it. And the fact that somebody once said you're a baby channel and you'll never be anything more than a baby channel, you don't mean nothing. <laughs> Look at me now. And the person that said that is actually like, holy shit, I was wrong about you. Fair play. So go and show some love to these channels and then to the channels I have just shouted out. Don't go and give negativity to those other channels. Just ignore them and then just laugh at them being debunked and called out in after every video they put out. So just a short, sharp blast of beard for you this evening. Some addressing some problems and then some talking some smack. And then please go and be nice to this community. Go and share this community about. Go and be... Let's help this community grow. Let's help this community thrive. Because not only do... Not only do we cross-pollinate the real paranormal and the debunkers and we meet in the middle and we have fun and we investigate together and stuff, in with real investigating and in with debunking, we show up the fakery for what it is just by doing our own thing. Just by being honest with, yep, we've been to the most haunted house in the UK and nothing happened. Yep, we've been to the most haunted pub in the UK, nothing. Zip, diddly squat, somebody else is going to the same place and getting stuff thrown about all over the place and shadow bastards and all the rest of it. Did I just say shadow bastards? I did. I watched Casper, so I, I can't help it. He featured the Ouija Brothers, I had to watch him. So leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. Even if your thoughts in the comment section just below are, 
done. And then tell me who you've subscribed to that you weren't subscribed to previously. Just so we can see some of the good that comes out of this community. Much love to you all. Beardo, out.